<gasps> we're here, we're live. I have a guest. Isn't it so fun? I love when people like come over and hang out. This is so cool. This is great. He's not just anybody, he's a magician, an attention artist. It's our life yes. too. Whew. I don't know. This is Luke Brady. Hey guys. We've actually known each other and been friends for a very long time. Should we tell him a little bit about that? Yeah, we go way back. We go way back. So way when back. I this light is glaring. Hang on, blaring, glaring. Oh, I don't know, glaring. Okay. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> I look like I was on fire. Okay. Um. So or glowing. Hi guys. How are hey. you? Thanks for popping in. Hi Eric. Okay. So here's the situation. Luke and I go way back. I used to work at ABC 15 in Phoenix as an investigative reporter, and Luke was in production, and he was always yeah. sort of known as like. I don't know, the guy behind the scenes doing all the magic and the cool stuff. Hi, John. Yeah, you know, the funny thing, being a technical director, I should know if the camera's like blown out and stuff, but I, with yeah, the light, I should that. know that, but you yeah. You didn't see that, no, no. He it's just, a past life, yeah. yeah. Okay, but yeah, that was, it was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a good while ago, years ago. Years ago, but he's been, I guess my point here is that he's been doing magic, like, I don't know, forever? Really got big um, around 2000 when I was in college. Like I always dabbled in it in elementary school, middle school, high school. But then in college, David Blaine special started coming out, so I got really into it there. Mm -hmm. And you David go to college Blaine. parties, and it was like cool to carry a deck of cards and a sharpie around. And I got into it that way. So I know. I swear to God, there was one time. Now I don't know if I was at a party, so if I was, I'm not sure. But I think I saw him <laughs> levitate. Did you levitate or am I like, was that just, again, this is a fun life. Yeah, you I, did. Yeah. Oh, hi, yeah. Kelsey. How are you? Oh my gosh. Okay. So here's the thing. We've reconnected. Of course, we've been friends for a long time, but you know, we've, we've reconnected. And when we were talking, I was kind of blown away with this idea that he was telling me about that he's working on. And it's all about how magic can create a more positive life experience or change the way that you think. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that? Because I never thought about magic like this. Well, so it really kind of comes down to um, when we think magic happens, if I do sleight of hand and those kind of things, it's not so much in my hands that the magic happens. It happens in the spectator's mind. So if I could then take myself out of the equation and have them recognize something in themselves that's almost magical, and it's forcing them to recognize maybe like a sense of trust or connection or whatever, some positive emotion, then that's something that they carry with them and then they go forward with. That's cool. And like at first I was like, what is he talking about? Like this is crazy because I just like think of ma magic as just like a magician. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. But it's like a different way of thinking. And he described it to me like, well, haven't you ever been inspired by watching a movie and all of a sudden at the end of the movie you're like, I'm going to make a change in my life. And I was like, yeah, yeah that's yeah. I, I have felt that. And I think a lot of people feel that where there's that, or a conversation that you have with some a Absolutely. friend, yeah. right? It doesn't have to be a magic trick. It can be a story. It can be a book, a movie. Um, even when we were in Santa Monica and we met that guy, uh, if you guys watched that other video, um, he connect, he writes his daughter's name on, on a coin and it, and it changes in his hand. And he wants to go and call he her bent afterwards. The yeah. He bent the coin because he was thinking about... Like a positive a emotion, positive. a positive connection to her, and that emotion charged a magical moment for him. But it also, he wanted to call her and connect with her afterwards. So to me, it's about taking that magic and moving it forward, as opposed to the typical magician that's like, I can do this and you can't. And I hate that feeling yeah. of, uh, it's all about him. Or it's, um, or even with hypnosis shows where they're like, oh my God, don't pick me, don't pick me. Right. And like we were mentioning yeah. before, you're so into this energy of don't pick me, don't pick me, that they're like, you. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> that, was like the me. Yeah. that was totally yeah. me as a kid. Oh my gosh. Hi, Kevin. Hi, John. Um, okay, so I think we should do, let's do some yeah. tricks. Now, you've been working on one. Yes. That so, I want Actually, before we get into that, oh, oh, okay. um, something a little bit more of a surprise. Okay. I brought here in an oh. envelope. I have a little bit of a prediction. I folded it up three times inside, so if you look at it in the light, you okay. can't see what it is, right? Okay, no, I cannot. What I want you to do is just sign your name on that real big. Wait, sign my name? Like, I'm nervous. Um, no, just sign your name. That way you know, because it'll be in the shop, but I don't my want to... My hands are like... I actually... Magic freaks me out. And full it's disclosure, I like thing. watching you do it to other people. I'm all of a sudden getting, like, stage This right? is so you know I don't do anything tricky or crazy. Or okay, like okay. Just yeah. tell me what to do, and I'm going to follow just your Just sign your name on it. Where? Right, just right here, and okay. put it over the flap so you know I can't switch it or anything like that. Okay, so do I it. sign it like I have to? Just put it. Yeah, okay. you can make a mark, whatever you want to do. So uh, that way you just know, and everyone at home watching this, perfect. So, so you, you see it backwards, of course, 
but yeah. you know, okay. That way, you know, this will be here the whole time, but later on people will be like, oh, you know, something might have happened. Oh my gosh, John's so, yeah. saying this guy is cool. Awesome. And uh, Thanks, Laura, John. Laura Brady, is that a relative? Uh, that's probably my mom. Oh, yes. hi, mom. No. And oddly, oddly enough, like uh, you did a thing with the Patriots ring a while ago. Of course, with my, my with my mother-in-law. Yeah, my dad's name is Tom Brady, so um, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Oh my God, your dad is Tom Brady. Yeah, that's amazing. Helping okay. get out of a ticket too, but Ooh. I think it's more so the cop could say he let Tom Brady go than whatever charm my dad used to get out of the ticket. Okay, Justin okay. is saying you're amazing, but let's see okay. some let's see some okay. amazingness. Okay. So we'll get to this in a second. Um, Oh, okay. one, one of the things really quickly, um, when I was a kid, I had a bunch of eye surgeries and the doctors told my parents, well, he won't be able to fly a plane. He won't be able to be like a surgeon, which is fine because I didn't do well in chemistry. Um, but they told me all these limitations that I couldn't do. So it made me think of if we could use magic in a way to stretch our limitations and what we're capable of, especially with all like all the superhero movies and stuff that are out, what are we actually capable of? So what I want you to do is... Um, Roll this dice. I'm going to turn away. Can I show them the dice? Yeah, you can show it to them. There, is there anything magic about this dice? No, it came with a, uh, a deck of bicycle cards. Okay, um, so I'm going to roll so the dice. So what I want you to do is roll it and then cover it with your hand so there's no way that I can know what it is. Am I supposed to look at, see what I roll? Yeah, rolled? see what the top number is. Okay. Um, so roll it, or you can turn it to what you want. Just cover it up so I can't see it. I'll stand over here so you know. Okay. I'll actually look this way so I'm not looking in the screen. Um, oh my god. Okay. You got I'm it? Good. Cover yeah. it up? Yep. Yeah. So okay. you did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I am going to look right at you. I'm going to say the numbers one through six. Just keep a straight face and look right at me. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You started getting a little more serious around three, four. So I don't think it's a high number. I think it's two. Is that right? <laughs> yes! Okay. okay, cool. Okay, wait. Can I show them? Yeah, show them. Oh my God. Look at my hands. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. How did you know that? I should never play poker. No. 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 <laughs> so he knew that just by reading my eyes? Uh, your voice tonality, kind of your facial expression, I guess, is Lady Gaga would say your poker face. But oh yeah. my gosh. Okay, so. So now I'm going to blindfold myself. Oh, okay. So this way there's. I'm getting rid of, you've heard of sensory deprivation, where you can get rid of one sense and it heightens the others. You said you have a good sense of smell, right? I have a very good sense of smell. Okay. Unfortunately, you can, you can push, many times. You can okay. push on that to make sure there's like, yeah. Can cool. you see anything under here though? Under where? Okay. No, so it's, it's pretty, you can feel that if you want. It's this is tight. a really good look, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so now. So now I want you to do the same thing. Okay. Just kind of. You know, roll it on the counter. Okay. And then cover it up. Okay. Okay. And. Can I tell the audience since they don't know? No, so actually. No. If you want to hold up a sign or something like that, you can. Um, but what I want you to do is, I want you to say the numbers one through six out loud. Okay. Go now. for it. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to say it's one. Uh, that thump makes me feel like I'm right. Is that right? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So now I want you to do it again and just um, roll it on the counter and then cover it up. And this time I don't want you to say a thing. Okay. Rolling. Okay. Just think of it. Don't say anything out loud. Just over and over in your mind, just think three, three, three. <laughs> oh my god! How? <laughs> That's crazy! What the heck? I know it's bizarre, right? Yeah. Is this? Are you superpower? Like, is there a no. superpower here? No, no, nothing. <laughs> Although my nephews think I'm a Jedi, but that's not entirely true. My heart. I am like. I can't take much more. Okay. Okay. You guys, I've never seen this trick. Did you I, make this up or something? No, this is something kind of new. Kind of new. Um, actually, we're going to try. You know I have an art background, right? Yeah. Because I like to get how people... He was think. an art major. Yeah. Um, you told me that. This whole, job, yeah, <laughs> this whole job is not really what they have at career day. So, um, yeah. Oh. So, I, 
and we all tend to think in images, and we th tend to think in pictures. Like if I ask you to think of your address, mm -hmm. um, you don't think of the actual numbers. You think of like visually, you can probably see your actual address, right? Mm -hmm. Like on the cement or on the mailbox or whatever it is. Yeah. So we all tend to think in images, um, and we can't think negatively. So if I say, don't think of a pink elephant, mm -hmm. it's a little hard not to. So I'm fascinated with how we think because a lot of our limitations, a lot of our beliefs are structured in our own head and we're actually our own greatest hypnotist. But I'm going to try something. Um, Hi, so, Eugene. So, so you guys can see this. There's tons of... I you know, think, it's a little blown out. It's a little blown out? It's okay. a little blown out. But Here, hang on. Let me turn on the light so they can see because we need everyone to see everything. Okay, go ahead. Cool. So you can see there's tons of different celebrities on here. Um, we're going to try something. Are those celebrity names? Yeah. Okay. Want to go a little slower? Okay. Tons of different celebrity names. Cool. And what I want you to do is, you said you're right-handed, right? Yes. Okay. With your left hand. Well, actually, I never said that. So you oh. knew that. Well, again, I don't know that I I also saw you with the pen when you wrote that down. Oh, okay. So, Sorry. So, no, no. so it's, not, it's not as crazy as it seems. <laughs> I'm thinking you're everything. Like, no, he's going to start no. levitating any minute. No, it's not even crazy like that. Okay, sorry. I'm um, going to focus. Yeah. Maybe in a few minutes. Um, oh. But I want you to just hold out your left hand. Okay. Um, just like this. Put mm -hmm. your right hand on top. And what I want you to do is actually take a half step back. Because I, I want you to look right at me. Don't break okay. eye contact. Okay. But wherever you want, just lift it up. Um, and don't show them because I don't want them to think that I'm peeking. Okay. Um, but lift it up any. Just use your thumb and lift it up anywhere you want and look at a celebrity. Okay. Got it. Uh huh. Cool. I'll pick that. You got it memorized. Yes. Because if you don't memorize it, this do. next few minutes is going to be a complete waste of time. <laughs> okay. Uh, Take this. Turn to any page you want. Okay. It's a regular sketch pad. Okay. Right? I'm going to try to get some information out of your head. So the whole idea that we think in images. So um, this celebrity, don't say anything out loud. Just kind of say the answers in your mind. Um, mm -hmm. It's male, right? Okay. Um, that was kind of a 50-50. That's not too crazy. Um, you can kind of see what I'm drawing. Um, It's either going to be an author or a movie or music or um, some kind of... Does this look familiar to you? Am I supposed to answer? Yeah, you can answer. Does it look anything? No. No, okay. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Hi, Steve. So, so just kind of think of what, something you, you know this person's work, right? Am I supposed to say yes? Um, just, yeah, you get that you can say out loud. Yes. Yes, okay. So think of part of their work. Um, this is almost kind of like that automatic writing type of stuff. Does this mean anything to you? No. Okay, we're gonna. Um, so okay, just get keep that in your head. Um, but you know their work, right? And I feel like there's like a uh, like a drum beat. There's like a, it's a song you have in your head, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, Again, not, this means nothing to you? This, this might no. not work. Okay. Um, <laughs> this might not work. Oh, no. Okay, so hot. Um, so, okay, so you're thinking of a song, right? From like your childhood? Okay. Um, and it's got like a strong beat to it. It's, uh, this means nothing. That means nothing. Okay. Um, but, okay, I think we're actually getting closer than you think. Um, you're thinking of, it's, uh, this, okay, this might seem a little strange. Um, on the count of three, name your person out loud. One, two, out loud. three. Michael Jackson. Oh, like this? Yeah. Oh, he's going like this. So, <laughs> And it's all about the perspective of how we see wait, it. Wait, right? wait, what? Okay. Is that right? Since it's backwards, I'll write. Um, is that right? Oh, maybe that is. Backwards. No, that's forward. Yeah. Oh. 
Wow. Cool, right? Yes. Okay. We're going to try this again. This is like insanity. Yeah. Michael okay. Jackson. We're going to try this again. So what I want you to do is... Um, Did they all say Michael Jackson? No. No. Oh, no. Because oh. I never really... You guys looked, so, but I never looked. Wow. What I want you to do is the same thing. Um, with your, with, look right at me. Don't break eye contact. With your right hand, just peel anywhere you want. Okay. Got it. Cool. Cool. Um, don't say that loud. This one I'm going to do right side up. We're going to try some. This one, 50-50, um, it's a male, right? You can answer that. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so it's, um, but this isn't a musician, is it? No. Um, this is more on stage though, right? Um, don't say anything out loud, but it's actually like an emotion behind this person, right? Um, whether it's, uh, I don't think it's like dramatic, but it's more, dare I say, the person makes you laugh? Yeah? Okay. Um, some of you guys that might get this at home, this seems more abstract, but we're going to try... Um, Gonna seem well. This seems a bit strange. Oh my God. Who is your person? Uh, Jay Leno. Okay, cool. So <laughs> the, chin, the chin is kind of huge, but okay. So that's oh kind of the my same God, factor. that okay. is insane. Okay. That is insane. Now, let me ask you: When do? Um, well, I think that's good enough. We don't have to. We'll get to that in a second. How do you know when you trust yourself? Trust myself? Yeah. Um, I don't have a stomach ache. Oh, okay. So <laughs> at any point you don't have a stomach ache, you trust yourself. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So like 99% of the time you trust yourself. Well, no. I mean, if all of a sudden I get nervous about something, uh -huh. and I, I get a stomach ache. My stomach is oh, very reactive. Oh, so that's the trigger. Okay. Yeah. If something makes me nervous, that means I don't trust it, and then I get a stomach ache. Okay. So sometimes I might not even know it, but then I'm like, oh, why do I have a stomach ache? Well, because something's off. Okay. So yeah. is there any positive things that like, when you kind of go with your gut decision on something, like you've got two kids. Mm -hmm. So when you do something, you know, like, oh, it might not be the, they're not going to like it, but you know, in your gut feeling, this is the right thing to do. Like you're trusting yourself in that moment. Yeah. Is it like a stomach thing or is it more like, you know, logically in your head, like. No, it's a, it's a, it's a heart thing. It's like, oh, okay, I don't awesome. want to have to do this. Okay. I have so to. stomach if it's bad, heart kind of guides you in that sense, right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. So think of a time that you were, you really had to help your kids out. Um, they might not have known it at the time, but okay, you got one? Mm -hmm. So you might not have been their best friend in the moment, but you actually felt that in your heart, right? Mm -hmm. And on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the strongest, how strong is that feeling right now? I, 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 it's, a, it's a nine. It's a nine, okay. Yeah. What would make that a 10? Just getting my mind to go back to that point again. Okay. You know, like just rem just thinking about it more. Okay. Yeah. So how long ago was that moment? Not not too long ago. Okay. Not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And um, what were you doing? Like what kind of, like you can keep it generic. Oh, it was uh, just a, a ER visit with my son. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, those are never fun. No. Okay. No. Um, he was very upset. Okay. So, but you knew it was the right thing to do. You could feel it in your heart, right? Yes. And how was your stomach when you were noticing your heart? Your heart was like at a nine or a 10. Yeah, I didn't notice my, my stomach at all. Oh, so that yeah. actually overpowered everything. Yeah. So really, your heart as a guidance system actually overpowered whatever could have gone wrong with your stomach. Yes. So that's kind of a good thing to know. <laughs> in a second, I'm gonna do something with you with these, um, these colored markers. Okay. And we're gonna do something with Jay Leno, but first, I don't want you to think that I'm doing anything weird, so... I'm loving I've this never, like, I've never gotten the whole grace and elegance of blindfolding yourself. Yeah. I don't trust blindfolds. I trust ace bandages. Target. It's actually... Uh, I was going to get one of those real big airplane blindfolds, but it was like pink with like stars all over it. Mm -hmm. Just didn't really fit me, so... Yeah. I went with the generic ace bandage. So again, you can check that if you want. Cool. Yep. So 
over here somewhere okay. is um, the picture of Jay Leno. Okay. What I want you to do is pick up any colored marker out of the cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. And color in, um, let's just say, I know it's kind of like an abstract drawing, it's kind of weird, but um, let's just color in the uh, shirt. Um, and then when you're done, just put the cap on it, and you can just put it on the counter. Okay. And then take out another pen. Okay. Um, since we did the shirt, do the tie. And I know it kind of goes into the chin because I drew the chin real big. Okay. Um, I should have drawn the chin first. I'm hoping my art teacher from high school is not watching this. <laughs> Should I put this aside? Yeah, put the okay. cap back on. Okay. Uh, and pick out another one. Okay. And how is your heart feeling with this? I'm having fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's go random. Let's color the hair. I know none of the, the colors in there are white or gray, so um, it technically wouldn't be Jay's hair, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, pick up another one. Okay. Um, we haven't done the pants yet. Do the pants. Okay. Cool. And how is your heart feeling? Is it kind of, is it good? I feel, my heart feels good. So it's, it's not as amped up as after the dice trick? Oh no, I feel good for it. Okay. I'm more, I'm more level right now. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So we got what? One more marker? Or yes. Two, okay. Pick up the last one. Okay. And color in the jacket. I don't think we did the jacket yet. I may have done the shirt as the, as the jacket. Like, Okay. I thought the shirt was the... That's fine. Okay. So I, the more abstract it is, the better it is. Like, because okay. it's just out there. Okay. There are no right and wrong answers. So if you trust yourself. Okay. Um, you good? Yep. Okay. So we can I through. show them? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So don't look. Wait. Oh. Okay. Wait. Are you so? No. No. Well, it, it doesn't matter if I see it at this point. Oh. Okay. The oh. whole thing was that I don't want to know what markers you picked up. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Bye, Steve. Um. All right. So, like, orange is the jacket, right? Well. Um, or yellow is the jacket, orange yeah. is the shirt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have the blue tie, the red pants, green hair, um, uh, orange shirt, yellow jacket, and you picked Jay Leno. You picked the celebrity. You picked the markers. All that kind of stuff, right? I did. And you trusted yourself, right? I did. Okay. So, how how do you feel about all this? It, it's totally your choice on everything, right? Yeah. I feel good about it. Okay. I mean, he looks great. And it's random, right? Yeah. 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 He kind of, he doesn't really look like the chin is close as whatever. That's besides the point. Okay. So you picked the colors, you picked the celebrity, all that kind of stuff. So, and, but you went with your gut and you trusted yourself, right? Mm -hmm. um, earlier, I had you sign an envelope. Yes. And you don't know what the contents of the envelope is, right? No, I do not. And it's been in full view the entire time. Take the envelope. Yes. This will be a miracle. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. Like, I never would have. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but this looks like something your kids would have done, right? Like, yes. in a, I mean, not in a good way, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting very nervous. Uh, this might not have turned out quite how I thought it was going to, but you trusted yourself, and that's the point, right? It is. Because some things mm. seem very chaotic. Yep. I'm sure being in the yard, ER, it was like very chaotic, and then at the end, you're like, oh, like a sigh of relief. Yeah, we went. Like, got a burger. Oh, even better. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and open that up. Mm -hmm. You can just tear it as much as you want, yeah. Oh, and it's sealed. Yeah. Just so you know. Wow. Interesting choices. Okay, do I take it yeah. out? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! How did you do this? I didn't do it. You picked this. No! No! Busting your no. Trust in your gut feeling is what it's all about. Oh my gosh.
too, right? I don't even know what to say. That is amazing. Thank you. Oh my God. You guys, he's, what? What is going on here? You know, it's, it's using other people's minds to help them see what they're capable of. I mean, to me, trusting yourself enough to do something like that is awesome. So if we learn to trust ourselves and more of uh, focusing on the best version of ourselves, that's what it's all about. Because how do you feel right now? You feel good, right? Like it's shocking, but like weird. Like a... I feel like strangely more alive. Like I, I feel like alive from my fingertips to my toes. Like, like a jolt. Yeah. You know, so you're basically, is, is the point here, you can use magic to, uh, to pay it forward, to use this energy yes. that I have now. Yeah. Absolutely. And then go out and, and, it's, and, yeah. and what? Yeah, because like in this moment, you're forgetting about any of the troubles you have. You're forgetting yes. about any of the worries. So it actually, you can use it as an emotional spike, but it actually pulls you out of any troublesome, whatever you're dealing with to like the best version of yourself instantaneously. So my whole thing is that people can use their feelings and their emotions internally with the magic, then they're gonna go out into the real world. The people you talk to later on this afternoon, baristas, whatever, you're gonna have better interactions with them. The world will just be a better place when people are at their best. So to me, I just use magic to help people get to that level of you themselves. You are awesome! Oh my God! Thank you! Sure. Thank you, and I am gonna use this energy and this positivity and, and pay it forward. And you guys, I hope you had so much fun. Luke R. Brady, okay? Oh my God, I can't even, I'm like okay. losing my breath here. This is crazy, yeah, it's crazy, it. it's crazy. Anyway, check out, check him out on Instagram. He's on Instagram and on Facebook. Uh, where else, Twitter, uh, I'm Twitter, guessing. Yeah. So, oh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Luke R. Brady. And um, please share this video. Oh my God, it was awesome. Share it and press that like button. That helps a whole lot, okay? You guys, we'll talk to you real soon. Oh, Luke. Oh Thanks, my guys. God. Okay, bye.